cry of the loon. When the sun gets low on the cedars behind me, I paddle the fishing boat out to the drop off and wait for the deepening light. Mosquitoes fly lazily over the oar locks. Clouds turn purple and darken to gold. Sailboats drift under eddies of stalled wind and loons call wildly out from the cattails, sending their terrifying cries to the night. We must remember the blue of the water is only the surface reflecting the sky. The weight of our bodies, the leftover seed of some violent burn at the core. The rails run out, but the wheels keep turning. The fire goes down, but the winter keeps pushing its sap to the towering pines. We see through the window, but don't hear the chorus of waves coming down on the sand. The bodies of sailors and freight liners drag down, sea creatures yet to be born. We are not put on earth to remember the dead. We are not given access to ways we will suffer. What light might become us or how it will end. We are given a few dreams, a few nights of wonder, a whisper, a shiver, a miracle chance to be held in another one's arms. The day goes on fading. The night goes on beating its drums to the hideaway stars. We are given a few years to laugh at the danger, to break ourselves down in the service of joy. And then we are floating. The water is black. And our quiet Alumacraft fishing boat carries us further and further from shore.